the proper grip in playing true catch is a four seam grip. And that's uh, the horseshoe of the baseball is being across the horseshoe of the baseball. Um, I think the foundation and, and to me, everyone has a different size hand, different hand strength. Okay. So the ball is going to be placed in their hand a little differently. Some are going to be a little deeper in their fingertips. Some are going to be deeper in their fingers and some are going to be a little bit more in their fingertips. The key is, is to be loose with the hand arm slot. I think is to each individual. I don't think there's one way that someone should throw. I think the key to throwing is your fingers on top of the baseball, whether your arm is elevated or it's off to the side, your fingers are always on top of the ball. Okay. And then there's different stuff that goes on the backside. Some guys have a shorter swing. Some guys have a longer swing in the backside. And I think one of the things that I used to learn a lot about my pitchers when they were kind of confused where their arm slot was, is I'd have them go out and play long catch. And their long catch arm slot was basically the arm slot they were supposed to have. Another little drill that I like, like in catch play is – and I know it's hard to do because there's only there's only two foul lines on a field is to get on a foul line and play catch where your body is getting centered up every time you throw the baseball and your body's not falling off. I think the biggest thing that isn't talked about a lot in catch play and in pitching is how your eyes and head stay still. If your eyes stay on the target and your head stays still, your body is going to stay in line. You see a lot of kids that they fly off almost Pitching and hitting are almost very the same in mechanics. A lot of guys pull off and hitting, and the worst thing you do in playing catch is open up, and what that's going to do, because your shoulders are connected, if this shoulder goes this way, this, this is going to go this way, and you're going to have a lot of arm side misses. But I think when guys struggle playing catch is you, you kind of try to make it as simple as possible. Have them play catch up close and then slowly move them back. But I think some keys are body control, where you're lined up with your partner, you're always throwing to a target, your fingers are always four-seamed, and you're always on top of the baseball, and you're finishing out front, and then finishing across if you're right-handed, you finish across your left knee. If you're left-handed, you're finishing across your right knee. That's as simple as I could say that, but everybody everybody has a different style, but it's they're all doing the same thing with maybe just a different style of throwing they have. One of the things I used to do, especially when my boy, my, my two sons were little, is I'd take them out to a football field and I'd get, you know, the it's 50 yards across the football field. I'd get them on a line and I would just try to get them to visualize that their hips, uh, their shoulders, when they were aiming, getting to throw to their target in their hands, were going to stay on that white line and they would just visualize their nose being down that line, finished on the line. If you saw, if you felt yourself falling off, so that's always a good drill for young throwers, especially if you have a high school field, you get on a football field. But that's what Coach Serrano is talking about there with that foul line. There's a lot of programs now that in their bullpen, they're putting the line down the middle of the bullpen, which I love. I love that. I think it's a, it's a great concept. It's like staying in the tunnel with your body and with the ball. I think it's a great visual, the visual to have. And I think I think visualization and imagery is really important in playing catch. It's really important in this game. It's really important in this game. Let me say one other thing, Walter, that I think is really important for the people that are listening. We all drill our guys, and I'm talking more the high school level, not little league, but they all come to hitting lessons, pitching lessons, at fielding lessons. Some people are working out running and lifting, but nobody works enough on the mental game. Okay. And I'm a big believer that when you break down mentally, and this game is going to break you down mentally, it's a failure sport, okay? That when you break down mentally, you're going to break down physically, okay? Your physical failures aren't coming just from bad mechanics. They're coming because what's going on between your ears. And I don't think enough people try to slow the game down, get breaths in, get play pitch to pitch. And I know that's a cliche, but it's the truth. It's the truth. And I think as much as the game is physical, it's more mental in regards to breaking down stuff. And it's just, it's simple stuff. It's simple stuff. And again, I'm older, I've been around longer, but I don't think enough people focus on the mental part of baseball and how that could break you down.